eating behavior and habits in China that need to change. I've been to China 11 times during the past 10 years or so. Added up, the total time is about 420 days. I have quite a few friends in China. I was even married to a Chinese woman from Guilin. Didn't go so well. If you want to learn about that tragedy, you can search for my video, How to Get Free Money and a Residence Permit. I'll include the link. I spent quite a lot of time with different friends in Beijing, Shanghai, Shaosan, Guangzhou, and some more rural, smaller towns. Thinking back on these 400 plus days, most of the time we ate in restaurants, often together with numerous other people, sometimes up to 15 or 20. So I'm fairly familiar with eating behavior and habits in China. Eating in restaurants in China is quite different from the West unless you're eating at McDonald's or some restaurant catering to tourists. If it's a large group, sometimes you eat in a private room. It's not such that the plate of whatever I ordered is placed in front of me. It's placed in the middle of the table or on a large rotating glass disc for everybody to try. Everyone looks at the menu and decides about what uh, dishes they want to order. I usually ask for duck, chicken, or fish. This is nice because you're given the opportunity to try many different foods. Sort of communism at its best. Usually you're given a white bowl, allegedly sterilized, and a couple of chopsticks. You can for forget about a fork. They don't have it. What's not good is that people serve themselves from all these different dishes at the center of the table with their own chopsticks that they've had in their mouth. They all do this. Probably it's not a big problem if it's your immediate family, but it's not a good idea if it's 10 or 20 people involved. Bird, yeah. Small.
最主要是不会喝酒不敢不敢拍在酒桌上怎么样你一张杨桃话人家找你喝酒所以都是其实人可能我第一个桶车里藏一点因为他平均他干了这个以后我们第一次喝的话那个喝酒的话他原来小时候